If you want to play these on this, then this is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can back up your PS1 physical discs on your PC so you can play them in either an emulator or on a PS Classic. Hey guys, Jonathan here with Tech Wiz Time, where I help you save time and money when it comes to gaming and technology. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can back up your physical PS1 discs so you can play them either in an emulator on your phone or tablet, PC, and a PS Classic. Now, full disclaimer, this is a little bit of a gray area for most people out there. And when I say gray area, I mean that creating backups of your legally owned games is something that is legal in some countries, but illegal in other countries. So you need to be aware of whether or not it's legal or illegal in your country. Now, second part of this disclaimer is that you must own these games. They can't be borrowed from a, a friend or a video store if those still exist today. This video is purely for those people out there that own their physical PS1 discs. Also, make sure you stick around till the end so you can get the lowdown on why I've done it the way that I've done it. Okay, so a few things that you'll need. One of them is a physical PS1 disc. So I've got a couple here. This one in particular is Cool Borders and this is the one that I'll be showing you how to rip in this video. The second thing that you'll need is a PC or a laptop with a DVD or a Blu-ray drive inside. This will be used to read and create the image that we'll be using for either our emulator or PlayStation Classic. And the third thing you'll need to do is watch this video right to the end because I do explain things on why I've done it certain ways. Okay, so enough rambling, let's get started with this tutorial. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to download the software Image Burn. Now the link for this is down in the description below and also on the web article that I've created in the description or in the comments below as well. Just one thing to note when you're installing Image Burn is to untick when it asks you to install this crapware. Like you, you don't want that on there. And to be honest, I don't understand why they still include this sort of stuff with the programs. I know they get money every time you install it, but it's just not worth it. So next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to insert your game disc into your PC or laptop's drive. And now we're gonna launch Image Burn. And what you'll see is you'll see this window here with several icons on it. And the one that we'll wanna choose is the one that says create image from disc. So you can leave all the settings as they are and just click the icon down the bottom to start the process. Now this will analyze the PS1 disc content and see what sort of tracks it's got on there so it can create the files that it needs to work properly. And once it's finished, let's get ready to salsa. Now you've successfully backed up your PS1 game to a ROM or an image, meaning you can now take that game and play it on either an emulator or a PlayStation Classic. Now a couple of things to notice here is that the image file that it creates is actually two files, and that's a bin and a Q file. Now there's an important reason that this isn't an ISO image, and I'll explain that now. So back in the 90s, when CDs were first being used for consoles, the audio tracks were included as CD audio. So the disc had a data track as well as several audio tracks. Now, a cool fact is that you could actually throw these PS1 games into a CD player and actually listen to the game's music. How cool is that? So in order to emulate the PlayStation 1 games properly, you did need a bin file, which included the data track and all the audio tracks, but then you needed a Q file as well. Now the Q file was pretty much just a text file that listed where all the tracks were, such as where the data tracks were, and where the audio tracks were. So this is sort of like a, a table of contents of a book, as an example. Go to this section here for the data track, go to these sections here for audio track one, two, three, and four. So that's why you can't actually have an ISO file with most PlayStation games, because they include data and audio tracks. For some PlayStation games, they didn't have any audio tracks, so they could be just purely an ISO file. But the majority of PlayStation games will have a bin and a Q file which is why I've done it using this method here, using Image Burn. And as you can see, the bin and Q file loads up in EPSXE, and we're playing the Cool Borders game that I just ripped. How awesome is that? Now, if you're looking for a tutorial on how to get this onto your PS Classic, then this isn't the video for you. There are plenty of other videos out there that do show you how to hack with things like Bleem and so forth. If it's something that generates enough interest, by like leave me a comment down below and I'll figure it out. And if it does, then what I will do is I will create a tutorial eventually down the track showing you how to do it on your PlayStation Classic. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you wanna help support this channel, you can do it in a couple of various different ways. One of them is to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification icon so you get notified when I release new videos. A second way is to share this on social media platforms like Facebook, Reddit, or Twitter.
And lastly, you can like this video or dislike it if you didn't like it. Thanks for everyone's support, especially if you've gotten this far in the video, only about 5% do, so a huge thanks to you guys. And as always, imagine, learn, create.